Andy Griffin, everybody. A lot. Can we walk them through our there, discussion there to you grabbing my boot? I did in not. A, you grabbed my boot? No, boobs. I tried to stabilize you, <laughs> which is difficult. Because I said right in the hallway. I tried to stabilize you emotionally and physically. I'm a wreck. You, yes, exactly. I said, will you hold my hand going out? I have high heels. Yes. And then he said, do you want me to carry you? And I said, I don't think you can. <laughs> and then one thing led to another, and you grabbed my boob. No, I did not. Once again, you know you're what? inappropriate, and I am proper. You know what? I, I, I cannot believe they have allowed you to be paired with me again. What do you After the last time. <laughs> <laughs> to put my devil horns back down. I don't know. Can we, first of all, can we move my seat because, we're, we're as you know, I'm not wearing underwear as usual. And also, I need to be like closer to. Oh, the, you want to be closer? Well, remember you called me last night and said don't wear underwear, and I was like, I said, okay, no whatever. Like that? I don't. Well, hold on. Very short. Oh look! Oh, oh look! Here's a rec here. Look, there's the video. Oh. Okay, there you go. Oh, there you go. Is that better? Yes. All right. Kathy, wow. it looks like a grab. It, it looks like, like a what? It looked like a grab. It was completely inappropriate. I'm appalled. It My virgin <laughs> ears are shocked. <laughs> Sweetie, that's the only thing virgin on you. <laughs> hey, thank you. Just make you talk, she'd be like, I'm exhausted. You what? What? I thought this was a daytime <laughs> lady show. We talk about <laughs> and the waha. <laughs> Uh, maybe if we had, yeah, no. Anyway, um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm surprised that they've allowed us to be together because the last time we were on New Year's Eve together, that was the last time you and I were paired together. <laughs> and, Thank you. And everything was going fine. See, the, the people enjoy the rapport. Like it's the gay you. people in the audience applauded. Of course. Uh, the, uh, of all, course. Yeah, all the folks from Canada are scandalized. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but yeah, everything was going fine until the last 10 minutes at like 12, 15, and then you just got saucy. You know why? Because I wait until you think it's okay. I, I right, I was lulled into I a false sense out. of security. I was like, oh my God, it's almost over. Nothing's Everything's happened. fine, nothing's happened. She hasn't insulted somebody, she hasn't. I kept my clothes on. Well, I haven't gotten texts already, like questions from the New York Times asking, did she say that? And, uh, and then all of a sudden you did something totally inappropriate. Exactly. Anyway. Well, what happened was a reporter teed it up so You know what? We don't need to relive the nightmare. <laughs> that, that I was... had to kiss a sardine. That's all I'm saying. You can yeah. Google it. Yeah. No, please do not. Do not Google it. I would never. So um, I, I, I understand of late you have been obsessed with the Jody Arias trial. Yes. I, um, like my good friend Nancy Grace. <laughs> <laughs> no, have you actually met Nancy Grace? Yes. I'm friends with Nancy Grace. And have you met and I, the I've met the twins. You have met the twins? No, I actually have not met the twins. Nancy. John, David, and Lucy. <laughs> I can't do Nancy talking about the twins without crying. Because no matter what Nancy is talking about, she will then start to cry about the twins, even though they're fine. But Nancy's like, I was watching a trial, and it reminded me of the twins. John, David, and Lucy. I love my twins. She loves her twins. Oh, I know she does. I know she does. Um, but, you know, there's the case of the missing necklace. Uh, there is the case. Yes, Nancy Grace has lost her. She has a handcuffed necklace. That she was on my show uh, a month or so ago. That, that's the necklace right yeah. there. That's actually the flyer that Nancy Grace printed up and, and put all around the CNN Center in Atlanta yes. to try to find this necklace. And she's accused me yes. of somehow being involved in its disappearance because I did happen to point out the necklace on air. <laughs> But look at her face. Do not mess with her, Anderson. Oh, she, no. She's, you are out of your league. She will take you down. She will. And then she involved you in it. She kind of she implicated you. She tweeted that you and I would be in cahoots. And um, I, I, I might have it somewhere, but I'm not going to reveal today where. Well, uh, I love that Nancy Grace has, like, handcuffs. This was a spare pair of handcuffs she just happened to have hidden in on her, her bosom. In, in her, her bosom, bosom. Yes. 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 Which I called the twins, but then right. I realized... <laughs> The twins the are not the real twins. The real twins. That's yes. right. Um, we are under suspicion. Did you? Um, but you've been following the Jody Arias trial. You like the? You... I'm obsessed with the Jody Arias trial because, um, first of all, I know she, you know, allegedly may have stabbed him 27 times and shot him. But sometimes you get just so mad at your boyfriend. Um, <laughs> 
I believe it was Khloe Kardashian in uh, Khloe and Courtney Take Miami, one of your favorite shows you would never miss. Where, where Khloe actually said, and I quote, sometimes a bitch snaps. And really? Is that what she said? Maybe she was referring to Jody. I don't oh, know. Oh, my Lord. Now, there's. There's two other Kardashians waiting in the wings, right? Yes, Being there's Kendall and Francine, or whatever their names <laughs> are. <laughs> Francine? They're just multiplying. Look, they're both like eight feet tall. They're both models. How and old are they? They've got to be, they're they're like 11 or 40. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't really tell anymore, but they're Francine? tall. Francine? They well, decided... I, one of them came up to me, and I, I just ran into, because, you know, I run into everybody for my act. It's a nightmare. And so, for them, for me, it's fun, but for them, it is. And, um, and then I ran into two of them at some concert, and then either Kendall or Francine goes, my name isn't Francine. Stop saying that on TV. <laughs> Whatevs. Obvi. And then, <laughs> like, you know how the young kids talk in that, like, jargon now, like, obvi and totes and uh -huh. whatevs? And I'm like, finish a word, you moron. Finish a word. <laughs> Whatevs. Obvi. Well, I just, I just saw a thing in the paper today saying that Lifetime is now casting for a Jodi Arias uh, movie. Oh, my gosh. Who Lifetime. Do you, who do you think Such should star? Dream. Lifetime. First of all, what did you think of, um, did you watch Mind Over Murder? Which was Mind Over Murder? Hello, they're all the same. What does it matter? Why? <laughs> did you, oh, did you watch Romeo Killer? What? Hello? Where have you been, Grandpa? I got, I got, I got. Romeo Killer was so fantastic. It turns out that you marry a guy, and it seems great, but guess what? He's not the guy you thought he was. <laughs> he has a secret family in Montana, and your girlfriend tells you you don't believe it till you see the pictures, and then the call is coming from inside the house. <laughs> I love every Lifetime movie. For some reason, I thought of you when I saw this. Yes. In case you spill your food a lot when right. you eat, mm -hmm. a company called Two Lumps of Sugar sent us these. It's basically a giant life-size baby bib for people. That sounds like... Which is just, that I don't know. That sounds like a dream come true. I don't, I don't see the complaint. I mean, this sounds like a dream. When you're watching the Jodi Arias movie, probably played by Jennifer Love Hewitt, when you're watching... <laughs> And you're just mad at the world, and you can put like Hagen Dazs in here, <laughs> and then potato chips so you can have the salty, the sweet, the salty, the sweet. <laughs> and you're mad at the world, and you're, you know, shaking your fist at the Lord. This is perfect. It just seems like it's. What? I, I don't know. What's your problem with this? I mean, it just like have we completely given up? Yes. It, it does, Welcome it, to America. We have given up. I mean, this just seems like we've just, do we just given up? Oh, like, this is a we, dream. We, what what I is next? Wear, I wouldn't wear, like, any clean underwear. I'd wear PJ <laughs> bottoms and this. Walk around with the middle finger all day. This sounds like heaven. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, we got to take a quick break. We'll have more of the first 15 when we All right. <laughs> My buddy Kathy Griffin is my co-host today. That's right. And tonight you, you've got a big show tonight on I Bravo. Have a big show. My show, Kathy, 11:30 tonight on Bravo. And my guest tonight. Hope you like it. <laughs> Anderson, you were hilarious when you were my guest it last was a fun season. So tonight, I, it's a show where like all three celebrities are out for the whole hour, and I have um, Josh Groban, Kristen Chenoweth, and Eva Longoria. That's a great. That's a, yeah. That's a great combo. It's a good combo. I appreciate, I appreciate uh, Groves coming on because I made fun of him in my last special. Oh, did you really? Oh, yeah, I what? do. So um, I appreciate a celebrity that lets me make fun of them and then also is still my friend. <laughs> what did you say about him? Oh, okay, so I said, because, um, you know, the funny thing about Groban is, like, he's, like, cute, but he's not, like, gosling cute. And so, but he always gets, like, hot, um, I can't say the P word. He always gets, like, hot, attractive ladies. <laughs> Um, and so... You know what's so sad about me is I didn't even know what the P word was. <laughs> Honestly. They I, did. They did. And so... I, I, my, my instant response is like, I didn't know that Josh like, Groban liked penis. What? <laughs> oh, that's 
That's okay. <laughs> now you're the shocking one. All right. So anyway, in one of my specials, I said that um, there's a part in Josh Groban's live shows where he has like a girl come out and sing a song with him. And I said something like, oh, Josh, you know, I see through you. You're just trying to get laid. And he said as a joke, well, that's right, honey. This blank isn't going to suck itself. And I, as a joke, as a joke. Uh -huh. And I thought that showed he has a great sense of humor. And so he's coming on my show. Wow, that's, sure. that is that is a good. good he's growing. He's uh, growing, yeah. He can take it. Well, you know, it's actually funny. You mentioned um, you mentioned Ryan Gosling, and I read this thing recently that he said he's going to kind of like take a step back from acting because he needs to kind of <laughs> learn more about himself. <laughs> What? I feel like it's a dagger in my heart. He seems like a really nice guy. Yes. Like he seems like someone you would so want to hang out with. So what are we going to do? Well, there is a hotline or helpline set up for fans of Ryan Gosling who are very upset. Okay. And it's you, you can call, and <laughs> and Ryan and you'll hear from Ryan and he'll sort of talk you down. Do I look okay? I feel like I'm going on a date with Ryan Gosling and I'm kind of nervous. I hope he likes me. I don't know if he knows it's you calling, Kat. Oh, okay. wait till he finds out. He'll be thrilled. Okay, this is seriously a helpline okay. for fans. Joe, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be really hard. We're going to have to work at this every day, but I want to do that because I want you. I want all of you forever. You and me, every day. Please leave your message after the tone. To re-record your message, key hash at any time. What? Wait a minute. Hi, Ryan. It's Kathy. <laughs> Would you like to go for coffee or just full sex? <laughs> Bye. I don't. I think that that's just a recording from the notebook. Yes. So the end. So you call oh. this this line. You pay the money to call this thing, and then all it is is recording from the notebook. Correct. But, I, but wait, I, the, the notebook was real. So it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. That was a documentary. <laughs> no, but was that, that could have happened to me. I yes. never, I never, I, I... Wait, hold on. Don't, don't finish that sentence. <laughs> Did you, were you about to say you never saw the yes. notebook? Okay, there is blood running through your veins. <laughs> that is ice. There is ice running through your veins. I saw the scene where he's making on the rain on, on the trailer, so why do I need to see the whole movie? It's the greatest movie of all time. Are Thank you serious? You. Oh, yes. really? I thought it was supposed to be a I guess someone doesn't believe movie? in love. <laughs> is it really is a, a good movie? This is a disaster. I, I told you you might have some issues with him. I know, but this, I can't believe anyone, no one hasn't seen the notebook. It's like, it's like not re reading the Bible. <laughs> well, I'm not actually notebook. religious. Well. Except when it comes to the notebook, the new Bible. <laughs> the new, oh, goodness. Oh, you're going to get tweets about that. I know, Trust I know. Me. You're going to get tweets about that. I know. I also saw this story that a clinic in Massachusetts apparently is offering free, uh, a free one-top pizza, pizza. Yeah. With, with vasectomies. So if you get a vasectomy, you get a free pizza. But wait, during March Madness. Dur oh, right. It's only during March okay, Madness. So I am totally for that because my boyfriend is obsessed with sports. In fact, I think he thinks he's like on the teams. Like when he's uh -huh. like, we have a big game. And I'm like, well, you're not on the team. But anyway, so I loathe March Madness and I loathe all things um, sports. I've declared a war on all sports. Um, and I think that vasectomies, tying them into March Madness is perfect, even for a pizza. <laughs> and straight guys are so weird, they might just do it for a free pizza. Well, uh, well, but apparently business has gone up 22% yeah. at this clinic. For the, I guess because of the pizza, like well, yeah, how you big? You shouldn't be having kids if you like basketball. I mean, that's not appropriate. <laughs> I mean, if you see these guys being interviewed, they're idiots. And so, no. I, if you even have watched one you, basketball why? game, Every, anybody plays basketball? basketball. What are you talking about? That's ridiculous. Yes, all basketball players and football players are idiots. Yeah, <laughs> all of them. All of them. I just wanted to say I have nothing to do with the opinions held by Kathy Griffin. <laughs> Nor, why? Nor, nor does telepictures or its larger corporate entity, Time Warner. But why would you ever Time watch Warner. sports when you could watch Lifetime? It makes no sense to me. But Lifetime, I mean, really. But have you seen the client list? She's a single mom who has to give massages <laughs> to raise her family. It's very gritty, Anderson. <laughs> but isn't every Lifetime movie sort of the same? Yes. yes. And Jennifer Love Hewitt's in every yes. one. It's amazing. So Rob Lowe. Oh, they're happy. I like Rob Lowe. He's a nice guy. Of Look at this. Of course he is. <laughs> of course he is. There you go. There's the new Jody Arias. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I say that as totally as a guy. Or Rob, or Rob Lowe could, with a wig could play Jody Arias. <laughs> Rob Lowe is very smart and very funny guy. I know. Now, who do you think is hotter, you or Rob Lowe? Because that's got to be tough for you. 
Because you're like a gorgeous, well, Anderson's like a gorgeous shallow model. So like when you look at Rob Lowe, that's gotta be like a slap in the face. Uh, I, I don't even know how to respond to that. But don't tell me you haven't looked at Rob Lowe and cried many nights alone in your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Why? 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 Oh, that's not true. I, again, just not true. You, Oh, now you're going to stick up for what, Team Rob Lowe? <laughs> Is there any Lifetime movie I could get you into, into watching? Because I know you love the Bravo shows. You love the Housewives. You yeah, the... although I've, I've sort of I've taken, uh, taken a little step back. Well, some of them can be, they're vicious. They're pulling each other's weaves out. What, what, is, what are we doing? We're, we're showing me and Rob Lowe? We're seeing you and Rob Lowe? Thank you. I appreciate it. We're going to watch you cry. No, I, I appreciate the side by side. But you're side. willing up a little bit. No, I'm not willing up. It's I just, know, but you That's a fatty up. deposit. I just can't get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got to take another break. We're going to go undercover exposing how women get ripped off by car dealers sometimes. We'll be right back. Yeah.